Hi there, today we're going to be talking about infrared heating elements. There are two basic types. You have quartz, which is glass, and then you have PTC, which stands for positive temperature coefficient. First, we're going to talk about quartz. Now, the heating elements come in different sizes. This one is much shorter than this one, but don't be fooled. That doesn't mean it makes less heat. This here is actually 375 watts. This one is only 250 watts. This one makes considerably more heat than this one does, even though it's shorter. Also, you can look at these two long ones, and the glass themselves is actually two different colors. This is clear, and this is tinted. Again, being tinted has very little to do with anything as far as improving the performance. They both are, perform the same whether it's clear or whether it's tinted. Then we'll look at the wire colors. Sometimes they come with all red wire. This one here is red on one side and white on the other. Wire color doesn't make any difference either as to the performance. Now real quickly, let's look at the evolution of quartz heating elements. Now, because it's called quartz, that means glass, and the glass has ceramic fixed to each end of them. They're called elements, but they're also referred to as bulbs or tubes. But for today's purposes, we're going to call them elements. Now, this one here, you'll see that because it's affixed, it does not move at all. There's no movement between the glass and the ceramic. The next version, this one here was rated to last about one to two years. This one here, again, the glass and the ceramic are fixed to each other. However, they made movement in the wire. See how the wire moves even inside the heating element? It just moves clean through. By doing this, it, it, it increased the life expectancy to about two to three years. Now, why did it improve the life expectancy? Just like an incandescent light bulb, a regular light bulb you would screw in at home, it, there's a little filament in it, and every time the bulb turns on, it gets hot. And when the little filament, which is made of metal, it gets hot, it expands, it cools down when you turn it off, and it contracts. And if you do that enough times, eventually it will break. The same uh, logic is true with these heating elements, that the uh, infrared heating element inside the glass will actually get hot, it will expand, when it's turned off it will cool and it will contract. And by allowing the wire movement and an area to move, it increases the life expectancy. The next advancement is this one. Now this not only moves a little bit, but it comes out completely. See how the ceramic completely separates from the glass. By doing this, now you significantly uh, added to the life expectancy, you're now between three and five years as the average life expectancy of this particular model. Most quartz infrared heaters have six of these in them. And th this is the model, that the, the design or type of bulb that most infrared heaters use today. Now, if you look carefully here, at the very end of the wire where the wire meets the bulb, you'll see it's turning white. See how it's turning white? That when it breaks off, that's where it breaks. Almost all the time, when the wire breaks, it goes through the whole bulb. It almost always breaks right there at the end. Here's an example of one that broke off at the end. Okay, it was in there, and it just broke, and there it is. So the next version, which is actually the newest in the innovation with technology with quartz infrared. And this is the type that we put in all of our infrared heaters because, in my opinion, it's the best one. It makes more heat than any other ones that we've tested, and it also has a longer life. What we've done at the end here is we actually put a flat piece of metal so it won't break off very easily. It's much stronger. They're also very easy to replace. This one here would be one. Now you see how the glass is tinted on this and it's clear on this. Doesn't make any difference with its performance. But when you need to replace them, it's very easy to just pull the wire right off the end. You, you take the wire off both ends, you slide it out, slide a new one in, and just put the wire right back on again and you're good to go. It takes a, a, about 10 minutes for an inexperienced person to replace the heating elements in our heaters. Now there are other styles as well, 
This is one that has not performed very well. Uh, it makes a lot of heat while it works, but they just don't last very long. There are some flaws in this particular design. This is what a new one looks like, and this is what a used one looks like. And it's, it's brittle, and they come apart uh, rather easily. Uh, we've found in our facility that these last for an average of a year, one year, which is really a poor performing heating element. And the reason is that the design on these uh, you see two prongs coming out of the bottom. The one is the lead that goes straight up through the center and then it coils around, comes back down. And it creates so much heat in a small area like that. Uh, the wire collapses on itself. It shorts itself out and they just don't perform very well. Now you may have seen these over here and wonder what these were. These were some oldies but goodies. There are, this one here actually is not real old. There are still some a quartz infrared heaters that use this type of heating element. Not real efficient. It looks sort of cool. It looks like something that uh, uh, Edison may have made his, himself. But uh, when quartz infrared heating elements first came out, they looked similar to this. They were the style that screwed in just like your incandescent light bulb would. However, the front would glow red when it was turned on. Thus the name infrared heater. Red came from the glow of the heating element. Now that talks about quartz pretty much. Now the other is called PTC. Now these here originally uh, the claim was that they would last much longer than quartz because quartz would blow out. However what we have found is that uh, the heat output on these will diminish as time goes on. Uh, this one here is rated to heat 15, uh, 1500 watts. However, the real wattage that it puts out when you first turn it on is around 475 to 450 watts. Uh, but over time, the wattage output actually declines. And therefore, the amount of heat that it produces also declines. Now, another real disadvantage of PTC is it only makes half as much heat as our newest uh, quartz bulbs do. Four of these equal... Uh, 1500 watts, one of these equals 1500 watts. These, four of these make twice as much heat as one of these, but yet they use the same amount of electricity. So another way to look at it is this, your electric consumption will be twice as high using PTC infrared as it would be using quartz. We hope this has been helpful for you and look at some of our other videos there to learn more about infrared technology.